Hello and welcome to the tutorial on robotic process automation using UiPath. In this session, we will consider an example to build a workflow using string manipulation methods that will extract the key information from a text and prints in a different format. So basically, we are considering a text containing few sentences and from that text, we will try to extract some key information and then try to print it in a different format using the string manipulation methods. There are various string manipulation methods such as format, join, index of, split, substring and so on. So out of which we will be making use of a simple split method and then try to work out with this workflow. Let us see the input that we need to provide so this is the input that we are providing as the text it says you always wanted to study automation training the materials are available in the following places uipath blog and uipath academy and the output should be get automation training from uipath blog and uipath academy so from the input we need to extract the automation and training from the first sentence and then UiPath blog and UiPath Academy from the second sentence and then we need to attach the get word and the from word and then place it at the appropriate place to get the desired output. So basically we are making use of split method and split method will require a delimiter from which all of the words that are there in the text are splitted and are stored in the form of an array. So with that, we'll try to form the new sentence or try to represent the information in a different format and then display it to the users using the message marks. So let us jump into our UiPath Studio software and let us create a new flowchart and name it as string formatting and say create so we have this start in the designer panel so we'll be making use of simple assign activity here to work with the string or the text that we have considered so in order to store this input information we need to create a variable so let us store this here in the enter VB expression. Let us have this sentence. And then after this, we'll try to create a variable for this. Let us go to the variables panel and let us give it a name as my string and it will be of type string. Okay. So the next task is Next task is to use the string manipulation methods. So we will make use of split method and try to split the entire text by making use of the delimiter space so that every word is considered. Okay. So before writing the split method, let us create a variable say split it text and let the variable type be an array and that too of string type okay so this we will use for storing the splitted text so we will use it here splitted text And the expression we will write now. So it should be my string dot split method. So once you click on this dot, you will be floated with many options. So out of which we will be making use of split method. So split method requires a parameter array, which is a separator which we need to pass as the character. So in order to pass this space 
as the delimiter. So we need to make use of this ccar method as well. So in that we'll be passing the space. So this is the space that we have considered as the delimiter for splitting the entire text. Okay. So whenever it encounters the space, it will split. Okay. So this is it. So we'll use a simple for each loop here so that we can loop through each and every word that is splitted and then print it. Okay. Let us see whether it can split it appropriately or not. So inside the body of the for each, we'll use a simple message box and then we'll try to print it. Okay. So let us check it by running the workflow. So it has started the debugging, it has started the execution. Now the pot is running. Yeah, it has extracted each and every word. So you can see here it has extracted you at the first place and then always wanted to study automation training. The materials are available in the following places. UI path, blog, UI path, academy. Okay. So in this way, we have splitted the entire text into different words. Okay. Let us come back to our workflow and let us keep aside with this for each because we don't need it because we want to extract only few information. Okay. So I'm just cutting down the link between the first, second assign activity and the for each. Okay. So our next task is to get automation and training. Okay. So since these are splitted and stored in an array, array elements are stored with the starting index as the zero. So u becomes the zeroth word. This will be the first, second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth. So we want to extract fifth and the sixth in order to get the output. Okay. So we'll extract the fifth and the sixth now. So once again, we'll make use of one more assign activity here. Okay. So we are not making use of this for each. Now you can delete it as well. Okay. So we'll connect it to our previous activity here. Okay. So here uh, we will write the expression. Okay. Say split it text of fifth. Okay. We want to extract the fifth value of the splitted text. And along with this, we also want to extract the sixth one. Okay. So earlier we have splitted using the space, but right now I'm adding one more space here because in the output, we have a space in between these two words. Okay. So we'll use the sixth. Okay. So this will extract automation and training. Okay. So this we will assign it to some variable. Say so let us create a variable here. Say first string. Okay. Again, it will be of type string. So this we will use here first string. Okay. Of course, we can display it again using a simple message box. Okay. So let us print this first string. Okay. So along with this, we need to extract the UI path block and then UI path academy. Okay. So if we can count the index numbers, it is zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 
so 15 and 16 along with that 17 and 18 we need to extract okay so once again uh, we'll make use of one more assign activity before this message box okay so we'll attach it to this previous assign activity so let us create one more variable as second string of type string okay so this we will use it here second string and here we need to write the expression so it is splitted text of 15 okay and then we'll have the space in between okay and then splitted text once again so we are extracting the index numbers which are continuous in fashion okay so after this we'll use a comma here because we want to separate them by commas okay so splitted text with 17 and along with this we'll have one more space in between and then we'll use the splitted text once again with the 18 as the index okay so this will extract UiPath blog and UiPath Academy from the second sentence that is with indexes 15 16 17 and 18 okay so the first string contains training sorry it is uh, automation training and the second string variable extracts UiPath blog and UiPath Academy okay so along with this we need to add get as well as from in between okay so for that we'll use the simple message box okay so this we will attach it to the message box okay so in the message box we will use the first string okay so before the first string we need to add the get keyword okay so this we will add it using the quotations and then we'll use the plus symbol for concatenation and then after this get automation training after this we need to add the from word okay so we'll use the appropriate spaces here so that it is visible appropriately okay get the automation training from the UiPath blog and the UiPath Academy that we have extracted and stored in the second string. Okay, so this is how we will try to get the output. Okay, so let us come back here and let us run this. So for each will not work here because we have not connected it to any of the activities that we have added here. Okay, so let us run this workflow. So it has started the debugging. Now it has started the execution. And finally in the message box, we have got this get automation training from UiPath blog and UiPath Academy. Okay. So even we can make use of other set of string manipulation methods such as index of substring formatting and joining and we can execute the same workflow with a different approach but this is one of the approaches in order to work with the string manipulation methods thank you thank you for watching